So I'm sitting here, guys, giving things some thought. I did rewind these uh, back up to almost the, the full count. And, uh, okay, so that brought in some thoughts about this and a bit of a situation we're having here. Not that it's a big situation, but when I did this, this ends up choking it down. So it consumes a little bit more. The voltage is much lower, and uh, but I can't adjust it. It doesn't go like it, it's, it's choked. So that made me th think that that's what's going on here. So now if I want, because the reason this is kind of useless at this moment is that I'm getting 6,000 volts out of here. I'm getting 12,000 volts out of here. Oh, like no, no cap, right? Uh, when it was configured together in the earth ground situation, that was working really well. So what I'm considering doing is um, uh, going back to maybe five turns here instead of four, one more turn to lower the voltage a little bit more so it's not jumping off my table and scaring me, getting away from me. This one here, I'm thinking about dropping maybe half the turns off of this to double the voltage. So the idea would be to have, say, 6,000 volts here on the throughput one instead of 12,000 volts and have 12,000 volts from the coil that operates from the these here because that, that was about the only combination I had that was really worked really well with the whole situation and that's what I'd like to achieve so and that way we would have the grunt come through like I want because basically what I've displayed already is a little bit backwards we got the 12,000 there we want the 12,000 here off of that coil and 6,000 here so 6,000 to go in no problem 12,000 to be topped up regularly from a real high efficient earth energy bit so um, I think the remedy of that uh, came about out of tuning this and discovering that this is being choked down so I mean I'll turn it on for you it's it's there's nothing no magic here it's uh, 25 watts it's pulling more than I'd want it's not sparking it is absolutely not charging hardly at all a couple thousand volts 1500 volts I have the other earth ground on here which doesn't, it does not work that way with this arrangement. And we're only getting about 100 volts through the uh, voltage divider. So we're, you know, we'll get 1100 volts in there. So we'll turn that off, 27 watts, right? Pretty shitty for 27 watts versus what I'm getting. Now, if we go ahead and yank this off. Okay, we'll turn that on again. And uh, it's going to charge a bit faster. So it's a, you know, 20, 20, oh, no, it's going a little bit wild here. We don't want to get it. I don't know how crazy it's going to get here. And there's four and a half thousand volts. So we're putting about 400 volts, 420 volts. We're not sparking there. So about 5,000 volts. Those things want to come alive when it's hooked up in this arrangement. Pretty stable at about 17 watts. So, um, you know, it can run like this for an extended period of time, no problem. And just the way you see it, uh, with one earth ground, it's putting out 400. It's kind of in the range of what we want. And, uh, yeah. All right, we'll shut that off. And, yeah, so um, back to this apparatus here. I think... Um, we're going to adjust some turns here. Adjust some turns on here. Not change the length of the wire. Just adjust the turns again. And that way everything stays uh, true to its original design. Just the number of turnings to change the transformer action on this. To give us more of what we want. And uh, less of what we've got. Alright guys. Have a good night.